Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my first ever kind of is it worth it, is it worth the hype, worth your money review slash demo here on my channel. We're going to be testing out and reviewing the YSL Rouge Sur Majeur. I know that's a mouthful, but in summary, this is a lipstick maker. So if you want to see how this product works, keep on watching. So this is the YSL Rouge Sur Majeur lipstick maker is what the actual component looks like and this basically makes any custom lipstick shade that you want. So I did discover this on TikTok a couple weeks ago. They were sending this out to a bunch of different beauty influencers for them to promote and try out and when I saw it I knew I had to buy it right away. I knew it was going to be a product that was going to sell out really quickly and I knew this was something that I needed to try and test out for all of you. So I'm going to go on their website, get the prices, kind of see how this works um, so I can get a little bit of more information about how this works before I start to try it out. There are two components that you do need to make this work. The first one is the actual lipstick machine that I just showed you and that is priced at around $300. So in addition to the actual machine, you do need the color cartridges. They do have four different sets available, the red, the orange, the nude, and the pink. Each one comes with three little cartridges in the set to put into your machine. These sets are about $90 per colorway. So all this together, the actual machine and the four different color cartridges would probably be about $700. But you can just opt and buy the machine and one color white if you wanted to, which would round out to be about $400. I'm go ahead and read a little bit about this product and what it says on their website. The actual machine is called the Rouge Sure Majeur Custom Lip Color Creator. And on their website, it says that this is a lip color designed by you, styled by YSL Beauty. An experience is a new way to dress your lips in liquid velvet with the latest advanced beauty technology. Choose colors in four unique ways, shade palettes, shade match, YSL shade stylist, and get the look. And you can create thousands of custom shades with this YSL product. The lipstick cartridges does say create even more lipstick shades with the new color cartridges. Choose from trios of pink, orange, red, or nude for 1,300 new shades with each family. Using the Rouge Sur Mazur app, select from the four unique color creation methods, shade palette, shade match, YSL stylist, and get the look. Make your unique shade. So it does say I need to download an app to pair with this product. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So the app is called the YSL Rouge Sur Mazur. And here it is. I am just going to download it. It looks like it is a free app that comes with these products. So I have downloaded the app and I'm opening it now. It says pair it, load it, and start creating your custom lipstick shades. Just wants me to register. Oh, and it's having this like cool, um, that's cool. I don't even know how to explain it. You'll see it on the screen. It's putting some like cool video up. Okay. Um, remove protective caps before assembling. Compact and device together. Store it safely for later. Okay, so it wants me, I think that's what the video is showing me. It wants me to remove this top piece. It just pulls off and then pull the little tab. And I think this is magnetic right here. And you can see the little holes where the lipstick um, comes out of. I'm not sure if you can see on camera, but there are three little holes where the lipstick dispenses. You take the bottom off of this component. I'm going to try to open this. I don't know why they don't make things like this easier to open. I'm legit struggling. Oh, okay. So you push this and then it pops open. And there's also a protective layer on here. There are three little holes in here, which the lipstick continues to dispense through. And it has a little mirror, which I think is super cool when you want to touch it up later in the day. Now, these should magnetize right together. Um, back on the app. 
So once you've done that, I can press start now, and it says turn on your device. Hold the button for three seconds until the light turns on. Water droplet button. Okay, I hold it for a little bit more than three seconds, but it did turn on. Allow Bluetooth. This app requires Bluetooth to access the device. So I'm gonna allow my Bluetooth access, finding the devices and trying to pair them together. Um, important, before inserting any cartridges into the machine, please remove the protective cap from the cartridge tip. Okay has some more um, like videos. I think that's really nice um, for someone that's a visual learner. It really helps me to actually see what they're telling me. So just having it in writing. It wants me to start. Open the cartridge chamber and insert the color set. Ooh, so now I need to figure out which color I want to create first. I was doing my makeup earlier because obviously I needed to do my full face besides my lips to start this video and I thought it would be really cool to do a color that is kind of close to my lip shade because I like to overdraw them a little bit and make them a little bit bigger. Well, I think we'll try the nude set first. Right here. So it's right on the top. This is what it is talking about. That is the protective cap that we need to take off. A little tape around it. I hate these things. Never easy to get off. Pull the tape off, I can pull the protective cap on. Don't throw this away. I don't know if we need to keep it or if we want to put it back on when we are not using this set. So definitely don't throw it away quite yet. So it like did like a little twist to open this. Oh, right here. It says open, you just turn it, and there it is. And here are your three holes to insert your cartridges. You can just pick a hole and insert it in. Push it down so it locks in place. That is done. I'm going to press done on my app. This is a learning curve. If we're not very, um, like, oh, 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 it just did. It just said that it is 100% in and it showed that it was the new cartridges. But as I was saying, I do think this is definitely a learning curve. Um, this is definitely something that takes a lot of getting used to and there's definitely a lot of instructions and steps so you have to pay very close attention to. I wouldn't say I'm like the techiest person, but I can definitely deal with tech. Um, but it's probably my dyslexia that is why I'm struggling a little bit, but so far it's not that difficult, but there's definitely a lot of steps that you have to pay close attention to. Open the compact lid. Make sure your compact lid is open so that the cartridges can successfully calibrate, as I think that's what that says. Calibrate, I'm pretty sure. Calibrate. Like I said, my dyslexic brain cannot read shit for my life. Open the compact lid by pressing this and then lifting. That is done. I am confirming on the app. Calibrate your new cartridges. Begin collaboration to individualize your cartridges. I think it's going to dispense a little bit of each product up top here so you can just make sure it's working and get like calibrated. So I'm going to press begin calibration and we will just see what- Oh, I hear things. I hear things but nothing is happening. Okay, it says it's calibrating. This will take several seconds. Formula will dispense in your compact to prepare your calibration. I definitely don't see anything coming out yet. Oh, oh, one came out, oh, two. We're just waiting for one more. Shade creation. Get at least one formula to dispense from your compact. So that is perfectly normal. Um, they just want at least one formula to dispense and I had two. So I'm gonna press yes and then I'm gonna confirm the two colors that did dispense. So I had the more of the pinky one and then the more of the like lighter nude shade firm colors. And then I think it's now going to dispense the third one and try to get that one to come up. So you just have to keep pressing the buttons telling it if it dispenses or it doesn't so it can calibrate and make sure all the colors are coming out correctly. 
So there I see the third color coming out. Did any additional formula dispense for your compact? Yes, a little bit did. So I'm going to press yes. And then confirm colors. That one dispensed a little bit. So I'm pressing that color and then pressing confirm colors. And then since the first shade is created, shade is created. I didn't get to pick the color yet because I was just trying to get the products to dispense and work. But I'm going to go ahead and try this color and see if I like it. You take the lip brush and you mix the colors together on this little compact. Are mixed together and I can apply the shade. right off the bat when putting this on it definitely is a very like silky smooth kind of like satin finish it does not feel matte at all it is definitely making my lips feel super hydrated which is something that I definitely need I'm really loving this formula I have not tried any of YSL beauty before but I definitely think you know, I should try some more products. I would definitely recommend putting on a lip liner before if you're not really confident using a lip brush. This is the first shade. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom it in so you can see the color a little bit more up close. Even though I didn't like pick the shade or custom create it, I definitely really like the color. It's still super beautiful. So next, you would just clean your compact and your brush if you wanted to create a new shade or you can close it and take the top off. Now you have this little compact that you can take with you to touch up throughout the day. I do give you this bag to put it in because the product does come out through these holes. So just so your purse stays clean, I would put it in this bag. But it's really nice so you can take this product and touch up with you. Little editors now, I didn't know how I didn't realize this till just now, but if you take the backing that we took off the compact earlier in the video, you can re-put it on. It will go on the exact same. Um, there's nothing different about it. It just comes on and off. So you can use the product and then put it back on when you're putting it into your purse. So none of the product gets anywhere. Smart head. Yes. Don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. Okay, slight technical difficulties, so I had to go fix my camera. Still don't know if it's working properly, but let's hope I can finish filming. First, going back on the app, and I'm going to read how I can create a custom shade. There's a shade wheel where you can go through the different shades and pick a color shade match. I can put a photo into this app and then use the little dropper tool to pick up wherever I want the color to be. So if I see someone that has a lipstick shade that I love, I can put it into this app and make the exact shade. Shade stylist. I don't know what that one does. You got a photo of your outfit. Okay, so I think if you use this one, you can take a photo of your outfit and the shade stylist will pick one that they think matches. So let's try that. And I just took a photo of myself and it's letting me use this little dropper tool and pick somewhere. So I assume I could like drop it on my eyeshadow and it will pick colors to complement that. I'm just going to pick like a black and white kind of like dress. That's really like the only thing that is like colorful right now. I don't really have anything else going on in my look. I tried to pick a super neutral makeup look and outfit to complement all the lip shades I'm going to be trying today. So I'm going to press confirm and it says finding the perfect lip shade to complete your look. So it gave me a bunch of different lips that I can try on. Ooh, I like this one right here from the red set. I'm going to try it on. Oh, and that's what it looks like on my lips. It is actually very pretty. I love that I can try all these different shades on my lips. That's cool. I like the shade stylus. I think that's a super cool idea um, if you have an eyeshadow look and not really sure what um, lip shade you want to do. Um, you can just drop it in your eyeshadow and then it will pick shades that they think will match well. Go ahead and pick the shade wheel and just see what that is like too. So this is what the um, shade wheel looks like and I can just drag and it will change my lips so I can see the different colors. Ooh, there's so many cool shades you can create. I think I want to do um, one from a different color pack though. I'm not sure which one I want to use. 
maybe I'll go on Instagram and I'll try the photo one where I can post a photo. So I think I'm going to go over to Instagram and find a lip shade that I really like and then I will put the set in that matches it. I'm scrolling through Instagram and of course I had to go to the queen herself, Michaela's page, and I saw this super pretty pink shade that I think I want to try out and try to create. So I'm just going to screenshot the photo to go into the app. I'm not sure if I have to put the pink cartridges in first or if I can show it the shade that I want to create first. So we'll see. I'm going to go to shade match. I'm going to go and press this little camera um, like button and it takes me to my camera roll. And then I am going to press the Michaela photo and drop it over her lips. I'm going to go and press confirm and then it says searching for a shade match and it says the match found. Here's the closest match that can be created with the new cartridge set. Okay so that and then it also says the best match. We found a better match with the pink color cartridge set. So I'm going to press try this on, see how it looks on me. So I want to try and see what changing the different sets are like and what happens like in between changing each set. So I have grabbed my pink set right here and I'm just going to go ahead. Oh, I have to take my protective thing off. Don't forget that. It will not work and it will not fit in if you don't take the protective layer off. I'm just going to load them in. And then close it up. And then go back into my app and see how I tell it I have changed my cartridge set. I'm not sure if it does that automatically or I have to tell it somewhere. I'm really not sure how that works, so we're going to figure it out together. Ooh, new cartridge combinations. New cartridge in Coral 1, 2, and 3 require calibration before it can be used. Okay, so I did put the pink set in and it has to be calibrated before it can be used. So I'm not sure if that has to be done every time you switch the sets out. I would hope not because that does take a little while and it does use its own product. Um, so that is a little downside. It does have to be done every time. But if you only have to do it the first time when you are putting these cartridges in, I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's just setting it up. Put the pink cartridges in and I am putting calibrate cartridges now. So it's calibrating, it may take a few seconds just like before. But I think it's time to get all the nude out because I see a lot of nude coming out. I see the pink set starting to come and dispense out. So I think it just takes a dispense or two to get that nude excess out. You can dip your brush into that, mix that, and try that on. I'm just going to be wiping that away and creating my custom shade to save some time here. Seems your device has an issue connecting. Please try turning off your device and turning it on again. This is a technology device. It will have some issues with connecting and syncing with each other. And plug it in and see what's happening and if that is one of the reasons. Charger right here, it came with a handy dandy charger, which is nice that you don't have to buy that separately as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in and see if that is a reason why it is not connecting. Um, I probably should have turned it off while I was having some camera troubles. Um, I didn't think to do that. But you need to think through as well as when you're done using it, turn it off or else the battery will go dead. I've let it charge for a little and I'm hoping that now I will be able to create one more color. So it did just turn on. The blue light is on now. Fetching the device. Trying to get them all set up together. Now that the blue light is on, I'm gonna go ahead and create the color that I just picked, pressing kid firm. And then I'm going to press create the dispensing the colors right now. It only dispensed two of the colors, so I guess it's all we need to create this shade. I'm going to take my lip brush and just mix it together. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips because this is a darker shade and it is easier to get a nice crisp, crisp clean look with a lip liner. So now that my lips are lined, I'm going to go ahead and apply the shade. Ooh, that shade is really pretty. I really like it. And just like with the other one, it is so um, nice and smooth. It goes on really nicely. It has a nice satin finish, of course. 
it's the same um, formula. It just feels really nice on the lips overall. This is what the shade looks like close up. It's a really pretty, nice, like dark, vibrant pink color. I think that is all the shades that I am going to play with and create today, but let's jump into my final thoughts and reviews. A couple things that I want to go over. Do I think it was reasonably priced? Do I think you should run and buy it right now? Do I think the formula is good? And do I think it is easy to use? Yes, I do think $700 was a reasonable price. Because it is YSL Beauty, a more luxury brand, and because it is a technology product and something that we haven't seen on the market before, I do think $700 was a reasonable price for this product. Formula, I love the formula. I've never tried out any of their makeup before, but I definitely loved how silky this was, how smooth it was, how it just made my lips feel so hydrated and so nice. Um, this is definitely a formula that I would rate an A+. I think it's great. Do I think it's easy to use? Uh, I would say you can give or take that. I think it is a technology-based product and that is something that is going to take a learning curve with anything. Technology is definitely something that is very difficult to use because it has so many little ins and outs and so many things that could go wrong throughout the process that it is definitely something that takes time to learn and figure out how to work. Even if you figure out how to work it, there's still problems that could come up like you're not syncing correctly or just other things going wrong. I also like, did not really like how it didn't tell me when it was about to die on the app or it didn't have some kind of sound that went off within the machine telling me that it was dead. That kind of left me at a kind of what happened, is it broken, what did I do, how do I fix that and that was something else that I had to try to figure out how to get it to work. I don't think a lot of people including myself will remember to charge this as often and will remember to turn it off every time we are done using the product. Now that has nothing to do against them, that's just us, but I do wish there was some sign to tell us how much battery was left on the device, something to let me know how many more uses I had left with this product. Because if you want to use this product, if you are intending to go somewhere and you're like, I want this custom color, I want to do this, you have your heart set on it, and it is dead, it's going to take a while because it already takes a long time to get the cartridges in, get it set up, do all of that, and then on top of that, having to charge it, that is just another thing that's going to take time. So I definitely don't think this is a product to use in a pitch. So do I think you need to buy this right now? Not really. If you love lipstick and you are a lipstick kind of like connoisseur and you love YSL Beauty, definitely go buy this scent. You're going to love this. Um, or if you just want to have this in your collection as like a collectible, go. Great. Go buy it. I think you will love it. But do I think you need it because you're going to use it every single time you do your makeup? Probably not. I think this is a really fun product to use and to create custom lip shades and to have fun with. Let me know in the comments down below, have you seen this product? Are you going to buy it and try it out? What do you think about creating your own lipstick shades? I would love to start a conversation down in the comments. And let me know what other products you want me to review on this channel. And if you aren't already following me on all my other social medias, they will be linked in the description box. I would love to have you support me on all the different social media platforms. I definitely post super fun and amazing content everywhere. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!